It's amazing how quickly time flies by. It's been nearly three decades since I suited up for a high school football game, but when I flash back to those years, I still get a rush. The Matha was and still is a place where excellence is expected on and off the athletic field. The All Boys Catholic High School in Hyattsville, Maryland established a platform of how commitment, discipline, and teamwork can and will make you a champion. I was fortunate enough to win a conference title my senior year at DeMatha, earning a scholarship to Boston University before joining the Secret Service. My football career has been highlighted by many individual accomplishments, but what I remember most is the connection and brotherhood and bonds I made while at DeMatha. Just ask some former and current NFL greats that wore the uniform. Names like Garrett Ford, Brendan McCarthy, Steve Smith, Mike Johnson, Tony Page, Brian Westbrook, Cameron Wake, Josh Wilson, Rodden McLeod, and the list goes on. Nothing compares to this place. You guys are officially champions. Congratulations, guys. In life, so many people only focus on the finish line instead of enjoying the actual journey. Good stuff, guys. There is nothing more satisfying than having a clear game plan, sacrificing to achieve success, and seeing that hard work culminate in the ultimate prize, a championship. That's what teamwork is all about. Words cannot express the joy I felt watching my stags capture the 2013 WCAC title. It was so satisfying to watch those young men lift that trophy and celebrate something that was three years in the making. And personally, it was very rewarding to watch a DeMatha alum lead that squad back to the promised land. This journey began in 2011. Bill McGregor, DeMatha's legendary coach, caught us all off guard when he retired after more than 28 years. The unexpected change rippled through the Washington metropolitan area and across the entire country. It was Coach McGregor who had turned this program into a national powerhouse. During his time as head coach, McGregor compiled a record of 278, 40, and three, captured 17 league titles, and amassed seven number one rankings in the Washington metropolitan area. Replacing a living legend would be a difficult task, indeed, but not impossible. The key was to hire from within the program. So DeMatha chose Elijah Brooks. When Coach McGregor stepped down, Elijah, he kind of came to me and we talked about you know, what the scenario might be, and he really wanted to make sure that the program was going to go in the right place. Elijah was a hard-working player, very intelligent. He understands the brotherhood. Elijah was a three-year varsity letterman who'd helped the team win a league title in 2001. This was a perfect move. We got the boys in the oh, Let's go. Let's go. That's better. With McGregor's departure, some felt the program would begin to fall apart. You know, I bet a lot of people were skeptical about, you know, Coach Brooks stepping in as the new head coach. He's no experience as a head coach. He's a young guy. Who would have faith in him besides the kids who love him like he's their own father? Key players transferred. With Coach McGregor leaving, you really got a chance to see who was here for the coach and who was here for the school, the method. I knew what the standard was around here, and it was always to win, and it still is to win. The remaining squad lacked both talent and experience. When that whistle was blown, you didn't attack the field like you wanted to go ahead and do something. You ain't getting in if you can't keep your base. In Coach Brooks' first year, the Stags stumbled to a 6 and 4 record losing to rival Gonzaga in the semifinals. That lack of execution all started from lack of mental toughness taking the field. We didn't win the first two years. Elijah, he had a plan, he had a vision, and he stuck with that. It was a tough time in Hyattsville, but with those losses came a sense of togetherness. We were kind of built and developed into taking tough situations and 
you just find a way to kind of get through them. I felt comfortable with the guys around me that we were going to make it somehow, some way. Our Father, who art in heaven. The team focused on their newfound strengths versus dwelling on who was no longer in the locker room. in this position for it to be this way, for us to, you know, get kind of beat up at times. The media, you know, people didn't know if they were going to be fans anymore. We all stuck together. The Matha kid, you don't jump shit when, when things get tough. Those guys believe. Those guys came to DeMatha for the right reasons. The benefits of DeMatha academically and athletically, and uh, they made the right choice. The following season, things clicked. Players who may have been inexperienced the year before played like veterans now. I truly enjoy putting my footprint on a young man, and then four or five years later, they come back and say, Coach, how you doing? The Stags fought their way to the WCAC title game before falling short to rival Good Counsel, 26 to 14. When we lost to Good Counsel last year in the championship, that really left a sour taste in our mouths. I knew that we were gonna turn the corner that next year because they felt what it felt like to be close, but not good enough. As the team transitioned to a new year, they were hit with a devastating blow. I just couldn't believe it at first. Like, you know, he's on our team, he's our brother. Like, how can someone like that just be gone? It was extremely difficult for our entire DeMatha community. You just never envision one of your kids passing away. That was definitely a tough time for me because I never lost a teammate, but that definitely changed your outlook on things. Rico Webb, affectionately known as the Gentle Giant, died from a blood clot that traveled to his lungs. Through the grief, this tight-knit group became even stronger. The next season would be played in honor of their former teammate. One of the things that I said when I addressed the school, the best way to honor Rico is to be successful. Be successful in life. Just three years earlier, DeMatha was on the verge of destruction. Now, it had ascended back to the top. The Stags were ranked preseason number one in the area, returning 20 starters and primed for a bright future. During the offseason, their commitment in the weight room, their hunger, they held everyone accountable, and they had a championship feel. He prepared us not only physically, but mentally. We worked countless hours, tremendously hard. I don't know if there's another school in the country that had almost the whole, time, the whole entire team at workouts at once. Four days a week. That kind of commitment makes you that much better and helps you win the championship. The season started with a road win against Phoebus in Hampton, Virginia, followed by a tough home opener against Godby from Florida. The third game was a disappointing loss to St. Joseph's in New Jersey. That was the game that I think helped define our season. Everybody else, let's go! We had to build from that. We couldn't turn on each other, and our guys did a phenomenal job. You good, let's go! Get up the field! This is a really tough what type of team we are. Come on! Come on! Now we're playing. We've been together for a long time, and there was no way we were going to let anybody take our senior night from us. After that, the Stags picked up steam and began to roll. They would win their next seven games and eventually be matched with arch rival Good Counsel in the Catholic League playoffs. We play a similar style. Downhill, straight down your throat. I'm be running the ball. What are you going to do about it? The conference had been dominated by Good Counsel and DeMatha from 2003 to 2012. In that span of time, the Stags had won six titles to the Falcons' four. With these two set to meet again in the playoffs, anticipation was high. Any and everyone that's in this area will be at the game to see you guys. It started with this 2014 class. You guys have turned the tide with the math of football. All I'm asking you to do, don't cheat the game. Just deliver on what you said you were going to do. The team we play tonight, their mission is to destroy everything you guys have built up. You guys have come too far. You've come too far not to get it. Do not leave that field without the win. Does everybody understand? Yes, Let's go. 
The matchup in 2013 may have topped them all. Both teams alternately held the lead, only to see the other team take it back. The game would go into overtime, with DeMatha holding a seven-point lead. The most exciting, most entertaining, toughest game. Good counsel would score and opted to go for a two-point conversion. Time out. We built for this. You understand? Yes, we will not leave this field without the win. Everybody understand? Yes, Come on, man. This is not y'all last game, man. punches in the mouth, but our guys never thought we were going to lose that football game. This game right here defines us as a team. Overtime, one point, you can't, you can't get any better than this. I'm so proud of you, man, okay? You guys never quit, and remember what I told you guys. Remember what I told you guys, man, okay? Everything we've been doing this year, okay, is to prepare for adversity. We, hey, that, that, self-explanatory, right? The Stags narrowly escaped with a one-point victory and rolled past St. John's the following week to bring back the WCAC title in front of former players, current students, and their adoring fan base. Elijah's doing a great job with his team, and uh, you know, it's a great feeling being here. I've never had this feeling in my life. I just don't even want to leave the locker room right now. I just want to stay there. We've been working for this since day one, since I've been down here. And to come out here and uh, get the championship and bring it back to high is a special feeling. The next season, DeMatha would meet good counsel again, this time in the title game. The Stags fought back from a 14-point deficit to capture the school's 22nd conference title. These last two have been real special. Those are our guys. We're a real special group. You know, I think we're one of the best. The brotherhood that you build with, with everyone, you know, is very special. It was the honor to, to coach these guys. Now the next chapter begins. The faces may have changed, but the legacy and history remain. We developed a championship way of doing things. I want to welcome everyone to the 2015-2016 football season. And we're always going to make sure we do things the right way, the demand the way. Moving forward, potential is unlimited. And I'm saying it biasly, obviously, but failure's not an option for him. Expectations will be high, but one thing is for sure. These young men will take this journey together. There may be bumps along the road, but they are ready to join all the great players and teams in DeMatha's history book. Yeah,